do not know. But back to the mapping. And be because I couldn't find this area, and yes, I got help from the last um, article I found where the roads and stuff like that were um, coming up. Like I said, I took a picture of this. Excuse me, I do have a picture of it before, but I had taken it again just to go over it because, like I said, finally there was something out there with um, this area. Now, there are some interesting things in this area, but why this person made this map Because there is no indications of 107. And there's no indications of 128 being a route. But 121 exists. And then you got to, speaking of route. Damn it, 111. So when I looked up Big Island Pond... Which I believe that's what this means. Or what if this would mean not Big Island Pond and body in something? (laughs) But all in all, I mean... This area is very, very, how can I say? I want to say very, I don't know, strange of its accommodations. Now, I looked up, some, tried to look up something similar to this. And there is Route 121. And there is, of course, as you can see, a little pond here, but the road goes over it, not under it. Like as you could say, it's got some kind of similarity to this, but I will come back after these brief messages. So we're back after that important message. Did you get anything out of it? <laughs> I know I didn't get nothing out of it because I didn't have one, God damn it. Now, if I had sponsors here, I'd probably make a little bit better money, but I don't. So thanks a lot, sponsors. Anyways, as I was saying, going over this little BIP. <clears throat> well, like I say, there's some similarities in this pond here, 121. But of course, I don't know what they were trying to do making this map over here, but yeah, that water looks like it could be, but too close. And like I say, the road or even if these are roads or even let Lloyd let say a path is the uh, question now there's 107 could that be 107 steps out 100 yeah 107 feet And I'm assuming that's a body. I can tell you this person is not an artiste. A little sick demented mind. Looks like they have a mind of a 10-year-old or an 8-year-old. Or maybe even a 5-year-old. Because the right like this. Or whatever they were thinking they were doing, you know. But for this to be roads or whatnot... 
is the question. So let's see. As you can see, there's a lot of houses around here. Houses around here. Except for this area. So, I mean, that's what I started off with. With Big Island's Pond. But, also, when I, you know, went, scrolled in, there's Hampstead. And I believe Hampstead was mentioned. Of course, Route 111's mentioned. So, we got 111, 121. There's, I believe, the little pond, the wash pond. That's got to be what it is. No, no, it ain't, actually. Oh, yeah, because I'm too way over. Oh, there's the wash pond. That's the wash pond. It's a wash pond. Scrolled out. Oh, I did a... No, I didn't do a circling. I think I did, but it's probably... I don't know. Let me take a look. Nope. No, 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 no. Anyways, I thought I circled. So, oh, it's on the captured, so... I just shouldn't have done that because I could have broke out my pen now. <laughs> but all in all, with that being said, and as you can see, how they have 128-107. I do not believe there's no 128. Unless that's what no, that's Island Pond Road, and there's no route on that road, so. However that was done, unless there's something out in the wooded area, but like I said, when I did a close-up of that area right there, there's houses and stuff. So that would kind of eliminate them two waterways. But when you come over here, and when you put in Big Island Pond, this market comes up. So I'm thinking, how would something be over here, which it would kind of resemble it, but Big Island Pond's way the hell down here. So here they are using 121. Big Island Pond. But... This is what comes up. Now this is Brookstone Golf Course. And I don't know what the hell this is. And yeah, as you can see, the only man-made water hole here is the man-made holes that are in the golf course. Now they said before that yeah the the uh with the face and the numbers that she could be buried in a golf course. Now if that's true and that was out in New Hampshire in the mountains, right? Pretty much out near where she was or were they speaking of this golf course, but there's no mountain around this area. So I mean all in all that's just or oh, the ski resort, too. But something came up with a golf course. I'm about to wonder if it was this. But the ski resort with the mountain in the face. Have that video up. That had numbers in it, too. But how someone comes up with this from old Big Island Pond, 111. So let me go back here a minute. Yeah, Big Island Pond is written. Below Finn Circle, I got to still look up these streets. Some sort of pond, a body of water. This is directly north. I, know, I haven't looked this up yet, but it's directly north of the crash site. So, I mean, I haven't looked up this stuff yet. But what I did find around this area... What did I do? Oh, yeah, I ran. Damn it. Because, um, I believe, yeah, this 
road up here. There's a road up here as you can see and it leads to a dead end. I think it's that road. And I just wanted to show an aerial of this area also. Because yeah, I want yeah, here's where I wanted to show the island pond road is not a route or whatnot. And then you got American Stonehenge down here. Some lens markings. But, um, BI's PC property. Now, whatever this is makes it even more interesting. Fisherman's access open. Permits available. So, fisherman's access. Um, no trespassing without this. What the hell? Is I can't. I couldn't get it any friggin' better than that. Decal. Oh, display decal. So, you must have to have some permit on your car. Fisherman's access. And this is right near the golf course. And this is what it looks like. And if you scroll on this area, you'll see a house off to the left with a barn. Not the barn we're looking for, but it does have some kind of garage type looking barn. But whatever this is, Fisherman's Access, that's near, of course, this, this area. Now, like I said, I think it comes off this dead end road. So you would be driving down south to Big Island Pond in this area. That on the maps, of course. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. See that garage there to your left and the house there. When you do like a 360 turn on the maps like I had it, you will see that barn right there and you will see that house. So right down going south to, is the path in here. And obviously, I guess, <laughs> as you can see, it's some pond. And then you have a uh, canal way off there that you can see is covered. But whatever, unless it runs off to the dam, there's also a dam here, as you can see. So I don't know what is in there or even if this pond got buried, which that wouldn't be surprising. They used to do a lot of that back in the day, you know, burying waterways to build stuff. But who knows what this looked like in 19, uh, 2004. But I mean, there's a golf course. There's that sign. And how to get in this. I wonder if that's like a box you can like swipe your card or scan your card and the gate opens and you can get in. So if that's the thing, here's another side view of the golf course there, but as you can see, Big Island Pond still right over there off that road. Brookstone Park. So it's like whatever connection this person has with this, or even if there is a connection. The golf course was mentioned that a body part was at. The mountain resort. All oh, this body spread out, but... You know, if I was an investigator, I'd be looking into this, too. Because, as you can see, someone wrote about it in all this area. And, as you can see, private access. And 6 a.m. And, that, as you can see, look at that. Open till 10 p.m. So, that accident happen 
at 7, you know, 20, whatever, and then 7.35 comes around, there's no one there. All in that time of that person snatching into the truck, going to the um, racing, probably racing, stopping in at the, the, um, oh, that's something, well, that's another thing I got to do. I got to space out the timeline and space out the mapping of how far these places are from one another. So that would include the Red Cross, the crash scene, and this place. But then again, you got to remember, this could have happened another day, because they had her. And this could have happened even the next day, but being over in a part or whatever the hell this is, being open at 10 p.m., Perfect time to take someone out and just say, hmm, what can I do with you here? And that's my findings on this. So don't get me wrong, and that's in Derry, New Hampshire. And like I said, something was mentioned about Hampstead. But... It's just strange why all this, you know, like I said, I got to do a mapping out of it. And it, I think 121 does come from one Route 112. But I just wanted to show all this anyways. And that access sign, that was something very suspicious in my eyes. And knowing that it exists like this, you know, all in this perimeter, per yeah, I can't have it, get that goddamn thing right, in this area, you know, it's just something that, sh did they look into? So many friggin' ways you can go with this case, it's... <laughs> I tell you, it's insane. Right, everybody says it, man. Once you get into this case, you're not going back out. But like I said in my last video, here's a 21-year-old girl coming from another college. And I mean, for this case to have so much in it, so many suspects... Where the hell did this girl have time to do all this? I mean, to go to work, to go to classes, to go out and party, to spend time with her father. I mean, don't get me wrong, once she got to Amherst, I'm for damn sure she's, you know, there it is, you know, how fast did she start looking into things? Talking about a bad relationship with her fiancé. Oh, I'm done with him. I'm going to go look around. I'm going to go stray cat. But still, all that time. There's so much time that is, you know, took an end of this case. So many uh, suspects and very little time to even see all of this happening. That's why I say, if she was having a you know rough time with a relationship and did try to go out and find somebody new, that's where I can see the only thing happening and her getting followed, like I said. Found out she's getting followed. Tried to get back to safety, but crashed, and that was the end of it. Trying to get out of harm's way. You know, made a mistake, didn't want to get caught doing this and, you know, finding out the person maybe that she thought was going to be someone, you know, oh, new and special, turned out to be a whack job. Whether, you know, oh, man. <clears throat> but so much into this thing. And she had... Who knows how much time. And this weekend was action-packed with stuff. 
And how does this just keep going with so different, many different scenarios that could have happened, possibilities, suspects? You just sit here and think she's 21 years old. It's like I'm starting to get dizzy thinking about it right now. I want to just get out of the truck, out of my car, and start spinning in a circle and fall till I puke. And to stop it, stop the thinking, because Jesus, holy crap. Very little time, but this case has so much in it. And it makes you wonder, what the F was she doing? I don't know, man. I got to go, like I said, now I got to go map out again, you know, how far these places are from one another. Like I say, yeah, I, I keep saying, you know, I'm running out of stuff on this case because the solving it is finding that red pickup. And now you can even think about Finding a man that likes to wear cowboy boots. That style and people, man, they don't get rid of. And, um, but that red truck, man, if it could be found by all these suspects, whoever owned one, to find it, whether it be in the junkyard, whether it be in their backyard, all beat up and, um, you know, just shut down, cut off from the road because they don't want to drive it no more. That's going to find your killer right there. But um, other than that, man, yeah. I mean, I can do so many things and mapping out. I mean, hey, maybe I'll get something somewhere. Maybe a body part or a, the body is at one of these spots. But damn. It's nuts. It's nuts. Be safe, take care, beware. See you on the next video. Out.